everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Ashley and today I'm going to be talking through some of my winter favourites. I love doing favourites videos because it's just pure excitement. <laughs> So all of these things are just things I've been enjoying since my last video. Some of them I did actually get quite a while ago and it's just been consistent usage that's convinced me that I do absolutely adore these things because if I've tried anything else in the meantime, I've always come back to these things. Now usually I do split these videos into favourite books recently, favourite bookish things and other random stuff but for this video I am going to skip over these specific favourite books because we are approaching the end of the year, we're going to have a December wrap up, we're going to have all of the yearly wrap-ups, best books, worst books, all that kind of thing. So it would just be a little bit repetitive if I did that now. So we're going to skip over that, but do stay tuned for upcoming videos. So instead, I'm just going to jump right on in with some booktubers. I have three booktubers to talk about today. But just in general, I feel like I've fallen back in love with booktube over the course of December because for quite a while, I found it really difficult to actually keep up with booktube because I used to make a huge watch later list and then spend hours just watching it. And that was just a thing I did on a routine basis. Like it was such a habit for me that when I started work, when I started uni, when I amplified things like YouTube, I just didn't have the time to do that anymore. So I didn't know how to watch booktube as much as I was creating for booktube. So I completely just lost booktube for a while and couldn't really find the time to fit it in. But I started putting booktube on my TV in the background while I do work because I do work from home so whenever I work downstairs I do put it on and just kind of have it there and I found that not only is it actually helping me with my general mood when I'm working because you know I'm doing a bit of something I enjoy and something that I need to do it's also making me more productive because I'm not like dwelling on any procrastination or anything that I don't want to do and I am somebody who actually thrives off multitasking I'm pretty much always doing multiple things at once so I actually do find that I lose focus if there's only one thing that I need to be doing whereas if there's multiple things for my brain to do I do tend to manage to do them all better. Does that make any sense? I don't know but <laughs> I just have a very active brain okay but I've fallen back in love with booktube even more so because people have been doing vlogmas which means that there's just new videos every single day and I've been having a great time I'm loving seeing all of the festivities and you know people putting up all their fairy lights and the decorations and getting excited and it's just a really lovely atmosphere on booktube at the minute I feel so yeah I've just been really enjoying it but for specific booktubers one person who I've been really enjoying recently is Lauren Wade. I've been watching her for a little while now and I just find her entire being so comforting. I don't know what it is but just everything about what she says, how she speaks, how she presents herself and just her personality is so comforting and just lovely to watch and she seems like such a lovely person and I just could listen to her talk for hours and I have listened to her talk for hours and it's been great. <laughs> She's been doing vlogmas uploading one every two days and even though these videos aren't necessarily things that I would usually watch so for instance at the beginning of the month she was baking and like making all of this Christmas food I normally don't like watching content related to food but for some reason Lauren gets a free pass in my mind and I will watch her talk about anything so it's just how it is. <laughs> As well as that, she does usually talk about books which I haven't necessarily heard too much about before, especially in the online book community, so it's just interesting to have that variety there as well. And yeah, I've just been adoring everything she's been doing throughout this month and she's just a really lovely person and I wanted to shout about her a bit. <laughs> On a similar note, I've also fallen back in love with Amy's channel from Little Devon Nook. I used to watch Amy's channel in my early years of booktube and I think even before I started my own booktube channel, I can't remember. But she did stop for a while and she's recently come back this year and I was so happy. Amy again is just... <sighs> She just seems so nice and I love hearing her thoughts on books. It's not one of the cases where our opinions always line up or anything and we do read quite different books. We do have some overlapping things but I just can't help but want to know her thoughts on a book and I get so excited whenever I see she's uploaded a new video. She uploaded a vlog towards the beginning of the month where she was kind of preparing for Christmas and doing all this cozy stuff which I just loved watching. I really do feel like Amy is just a hug of a human. Like she's just... Oh, <laughs> I don't know how to explain people, can you tell? <laughs> I also get weirdly nostalgic about Amy's channel, I think because I used to watch her content so early on. Can you get nostalgic about a person? I don't know. Is that weird? Probably, but that's how it is and yeah, again, 
a comfort channel to me, a really lovely person and I just... yes. <laughs> And then another person's channel who I've been really enjoying is Jessica Nicole Dickerson. I've enjoyed her channel for a while but she's been putting out some really great video ideas recently. They've all been really creative and I've really fallen for her vlogs. Whenever she does themed reading vlogs she tends to present her thoughts really thoroughly which is something that not everybody does, probably myself included. It really is a process and you get to see her reading through the book and you know updating as she goes. And on top of that she just seems like this little ray of sunshine and I'm always just really intrigued about what she has to say on things. Again, I really do get excited whenever I see that she's uploaded a new video and she's been putting out so many recently that I have just been in my elements. I really do recommend going and checking out her channel because I just, I don't know how to explain what it's like because I watch booktube every day and I get excited about everybody's videos but these ones in particular I've been finding really comforting and really nice to spend the time and really listen and pay attention to. Her videos in particular are the sort that I would save for my lunch break so that I can dedicate like my whole attention to. So yes I've just been really enjoying them and of course I will leave links to everybody's booktube channels down in the description box. Please do go and check them all out because they just deserve the world. <laughs> So on to the random things. I do have a couple of bookish things and I'm actually going to start with one which I mentioned in a favourites video, I think over summer at some point. And this is basically just me reiterating the fact that I'm still loving this item so I'm not going to talk about it too much. But I did just want to quickly mention again my Kindle. So I don't know if anybody remembers from over summer but I bought this pretty much on a whim which I don't usually do but this is a Kindle Fire 7 which means that it is a Kindle but it's also a part tablet. Now I haven't installed anything like social media on this, I only use it for bookish things. But I did just want to reiterate the fact that I'm still loving using this because for years and years and years I was just so against getting a Kindle because I was like I love paperbacks too much, I love physical books and I do, that still stands, of course it does, but that doesn't mean I can't also love this and that's very much proof proven itself throughout the course of like half of this year because there hasn't been a single week where I haven't used this. Not only do I use this for ebooks but I do also use it for script so I do use this to listen to audiobooks as well and honestly I do feel like this has been a bit of a reading saviour because I am fully convinced if I didn't have this I would not have read as much as I have done this year and I do put it fully down to this so I did just want to reiterate the fact that I'm really enjoying this especially because recently, oh my goodness, the best feeling is just making yourself into a burrito in your duvet and just sitting with one hand out or like two fingers. You can hold it with two fingers and just swipe while you're in a duvet burrito. Like you don't even have to take an arm out to turn the page. It's, oh, it's great. It's great. <laughs> As for my other bookish thing, I do just have to like haul it over. This is a pretty random one, but honestly, it's been so helpful because this is my book organiser. It's literally a cloth organiser, which I got from Miss Bohemia, which I mentioned in my gift guide and I finally got my own. She did actually very kindly gift this one to me when I bought some other items from her store. But I have put this, it's really difficult to hold <laughs> with all the books inside, but this is just the best way to display it. But I've been putting this in the top level of my book cart because I found that whenever I was putting books in there, if I didn't have enough to fill the entire thing, they would all just slide and then because of the like crisscross pattern of the bottom of the book cart, sometimes the dust jackets would get caught and tear and stuff. So it wasn't that much of an inconvenience, but it's just not an existent problem now that I have this because I've been putting my TBR books in the top layer of it and it's just really satisfying to see. This is probably just me liking organisation and organising even a book organiser to an excess but I've been really enjoying it. I really like the material it's made out of. It feels quite sturdy. You can get this in different designs. I will leave a link to the website down below and I think it just adds something else to my book cart because I'm not somebody who's going to like stick magnets and whatever all over my book cart. I'm, I, I don't like that. <laughs> so this is my way of adding something else to a book cart and I'm very happy with it. The next favourite I'm going to talk about is this weird... absolutely. I'm going to show a plant. You guys know I love my plants. I love all of them. But I got this one recently and it just is so strange that it brings me immense joy whenever I see it. So I just... <laughs> I had to show it. I had to show it. It's... I don't know how because it's huge, but we'll give it a go. Okay, way. 
Okay, this is how we're doing it apparently. Um, this is my elephant ear plant. I don't know why it's named after elephants and not zebras because look at those stems. But this is just chaos incarnate. It's got my hair. It's got leaves everywhere. It's leaves are the size of my head for God's sake. Look at that and that's not even the biggest one. The leaves are a weird shape. Everything about it is just strange and I love it so much. I like to call it my alien planet. It's called an elephant ear plant. I believe the type is taro because there's quite a few different variations of this but yes I came across this and was like I'm having it. It's wild and I love it. So its name is Zuki because for some reason that day I was thinking about Kenzuki's Kingdom by Michael Mapogo and just looked at it and thought yes. I didn't even like that book when I was younger so I have no idea why but I just, that was its name when I looked at it, so. This is Zuki, it's been bringing me much joy <laughs> every single time I see it, so. I just wanted to show it off, I guess. I am gonna move it though, because it's wildly inconvenient. Back to more normal things. One thing that I did want to share is gel nails that you can do at home, basically. So, I was actually sent this by Madame Glam. And this is like a mini gel kit that you can do at home, basically. So you can get this little UV light, which is really easy to use, you literally just turn it on. And then you get the polishes too, so I do have a soak off base coat and top coat and then they sent me two colours which were this pink and the one that I'm wearing is like a really pale grey. But I have been using these and as you can see on my nails, um, they're not the neatest thing because I still need to get used to actually using gel, but Ever since I've been using these, my nails have been so much stronger because these are like a much stronger type of nail polish because obviously you cure the nail polish and it makes them last a lot longer. But the reason why I like it so much is because I had a really bad nail biting habit, which means that my natural nails are just so bendy and weak and have no strength to them whatsoever and no matter what I do I can't get them to be any stronger. I know they would do eventually but they just break constantly really low down to a point where it's painful so I've been trying to strengthen them and then I get really paranoid and self-conscious about my nails whenever they're short because it's just something that I really dislike having. Really short and stubby nails especially because I tend to do close-ups in my videos and b-rolls and stuff so I feel like it's really evident and it's just that thing I zone in on. So Ever since I've been doing gel nails, and these have been lasting like one and a half to two weeks, keeping my nails strong, I have been adoring them and I'm definitely going to get some more colours of these because I think these could be a good shout from now on. <laughs> Continuing on with beauty, this is something that I've been using for many months now, but I haven't gone back basically since using it. And that is the Anastasia Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. I'm wearing it today. And <laughs> it's just really beautiful. The way that this blends is incredible. So these are the colours inside. I wear this every single day, or at least every day that I have makeup on, and have not regretted it. As you can see, these are very much my type of colours. We have a lot of neutral tones, a lot of golds, and these are just so, so pigmented. They blend really easily, and it's just perfect. <laughs> Dare I say it, it really is. I got this and I haven't looked back since, so I just thought it would be worth a quick mention. Another thing that I'm only going to mention quickly is actually these tiny silver earrings that I'm wearing, because I got these from Oliver Bonus and I never thought to look there, but I've been looking for simple silver hoop earrings that are around this size for over a year and nobody does them. They would either be too small, too large, have some kind of decoration on them, and it just took me far too long to find simple silver earrings. Just sterling silver, something that I could wear every day without it being like too much or studs. I'm not a huge fan of studs, I do prefer dangly earrings, so it's been a long search and I finally found some and I've been loving them and it still makes me happy every single time I like catch sight of myself in the mirror or something and just see them. So I've been really enjoying that and the entire Oliver Bonus website actually is beautiful. I never thought to look there but I'm glad that they eventually found their way to me. <laughs> And then finally, I do have a couple of hot drink related things. You guys know I love my hot drinks. One specifically has been this one, which I found through Becca. So she had this at her house. I tried it and I completely fell in love. So much so that I've already gone through one of these and this one only has a tiny bit in the bottom. I do have another one prepared. <laughs> 
But this is the Dreamtime Tea from Wittard, which is honey, apricot and vanilla instant tea. So you quite literally do just get a couple of tablespoons, pop boiling water over it and it's really, really sweet, really sweet. At first I didn't know if I liked it, but then I just completely fell in love and I've been drinking so much of it over winter, so, so much of it. And I might actually have some this evening after I film this video. But I've been trying lots of different teas. I really want to get into tea more because I like coffee and I like some tea, but I just can't figure out what it is I like. And because this one said vanilla on it, that's always a good shout for me. So I gave it a go and I have not looked back. <laughs> and I actually discovered this next thing through Becca as well, which is coffee creamer, which is probably going to make every American out there look at me and be like, okay because this is I believe one of the most bare basic things you can get in America but you can't find this in the UK you have to order it online to be able to get it this is quite literally just flavored cream that you put within coffee and this is the cinnamon vanilla one just comes in tiny little things like this like we can get milk cartons like this but not creamer and again I tried this one on Becca's recommendation and it's just like a revolutionized coffee. It tastes so much better than a lot of syrups do that we use. And we also don't get that much cinnamon flavored things, which is a shame because I love cinnamon. So I've been having this almost every day. I've been loving it. And I still have that moment where I sit down and have my coffee and just have that little satisfied smile when I take the first sip. So it, it's been a good one. <laughs> But that is it for my favourites for winter. I mean, it's probably not. There's going to be countless more favourites. Actually, this is a favourite, this jumper. I got it secondhand off Depop. And you can probably tell it's been a favourite because I'm fairly sure all of my December videos, I've been wearing this, so. <laughs> There's just favourite things everywhere in December. Everything's new and shiny and festive and happy and it's just a great time so these are the ones I've managed to accumulate for this video at least so I'd love to hear what your favorites of December has been or just winter favorites in general especially if you have any drink recommendations please do throw them my way I literally had about 20 seconds left of this video to film and my battery died <laughs> one of these days I will get a spare camera battery and then probably just run both down at the same time <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then remember to leave a like or a comment so let me know that you're here if you're not subscribed already then please consider doing so down in the description box you'll find information to everything I've mentioned in this video, all of my social media and the bookish stuff as well. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. But for now, I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye!